How to improve Google AdWords quality score in 2016. Hello and welcome. In this video session, we're going to dive in and learn how you can improve quality score for your Google Ads. First of all, don't never listen to these so-called experts trying to shove down your throat their theories or Apparently, there is some person work the ad rank formula or cold score formula. The only insight that you should be listening to should be coming from Google AdWords help sections. But even then, they explain the cold score to you, but they never reveal to you what it really takes for you to improve your cold score. Because when you improve your quality score, that means you will be paying less. Now, let's take a look at a sample campaign. Let's take a look at this sample campaign. Let's go to keywords and we have something called the quality score. Now, if you're not seeing this tab, you can go to columns, go to modify columns, go to attributes, then select quality score. Press on the arrow key to add it into your columns and apply changes. Then you'll be able to see the quality score here. You can press on it to sort in different order. Now, before we begin, if the keywords you're selecting according to the ads that you've created, you've got quality score one or two for certain keywords, then you can simply select those quality score one or two keywords and you can simply remove them because it may be smarter for you to do that instead of trying to improve the quality score for certain keywords per your landing pages when they are quality score one or two. Now, let's take a look at a sample search. Each time search happens, auction, yeah, Google AdWords auction occurs each search. And each time that happens, quality score is calculated. Now, if I then search this, then I'll have different results as we can see. Now, what is the secret formula that most people, they don't explain to you clearly because they don't know. It's only when you experiment with Google for a long time, then you begin to understand how things work. Now, let's go take a look at this illustration I've created for Rank Your Fans. Let's look at uh, Firefox. Someone comes to Google search, types some keywords. Then we have our typical results, as I've shown you in the here, right? So, now, you also need to keep in mind that when people search Google search box, compared to Google searching search partners or Google display network, different quality score algorithms kick in. It has to. It doesn't matter where the search is being conducted on Google platform. What's very important is the ad relevance. Ad relevance basically means whatever people searched for, whatever ad is shown, it has to be relevant to those keywords. Now, let me open up the typical campaign and show you what that is as well. Let's press on this and add it. So when we create our ad text, it's made up of the title, then description, giving you two lines. Certain things look different on mobile devices, as we can see, compared to the search itself. Now, ad relevance obviously then is whatever the keywords is being searched, how relevant those ads that you're creating to those keywords. Now, because people search Google in various different manners, depending on their vocabulary, it's smart to include some of your keywords, but it's also smart to include something very important and that is you have to ask the landing page that you're advertising according to the keywords you've selected 
what is the landing page experience that people will have? Now, because, you see, Google calculates ad relevance like so. Millions of searches being conducted each day, right, throughout the planet Earth. If Google keeps showing these three results, let's imagine three times people search for these keywords and three results are shown just like this example. Now, if these people who are searching keep clicking one particular ad compared to the other ones instead of the other ones, then Google can quickly track the click-through rate, as in the rate of click compared to other ads. So now automatically Google is saying, you know what, people are keep clicking this, now, if it's a brand new website, brand new, everything new, some unique keyword that no one on this planet advertised before, then it will default to previous searches result and calculate things accordingly. But that's very rare, right? Let's imagine a normal, typical scenario here. So now, three searchers conducted search using the same keywords but they end up clicking on this ad here then the click-through rate automatically increased now google algorithms can say hmm this ad according to these keywords have to be relevant but if that was it like everyone else is teaching you then you're not going to benefit from this video session because what i've said to you earlier and what Google help section tells you and I, they say, you know what? We also care about the landing page experience. They tell us to make our website optimized. Basically, search engine optimization is not just about placing keywords here and there, because the better search engine optimized and conversion optimized your landing pages are, and easier to navigate and mobile friendly then that's surely going to be a better user experience to those searchers but how in the world does google work that out they analyze your web page and your website entirely as well then the the moment people search click on an ad they land on a web page how long do they stay on that web page? Google can track that because if after the search is conducted, people landed on this, this result, and if they end up going back to Google, and how long after they go back to Google, Google can track that as well. Thus work out the landing page experience. So if anything, you want your web page and your website for the ads that you're advertising to be the last stop. So you then need to improve your web pages and its user experience, which is part of search engine optimization. Yeah, perhaps you knew all this stuff already, right? Recently, Google now introduced something called extensions. They are also taken into call to score and your clicks, you know, rates, the amount you pay. That's why you need to take advantage of that. There is many different extensions, call extensions, location extensions, site link extensions, structure snippet extensions, review extensions. In this sample search example, when you look at a result, in Google search. Realize the screen real estate, as in how big of a space that ad takes, is very important. S extensions allow you to have a larger screen real estate, thus improve your click-through rates. Common sense, naturally. As you can see, the third example here is not utilizing extensions. And you can see it's rather very small, but that doesn't mean that I will not click here. Because if they end up creating a great 
relevant ad, then I might click on this. And the more I click on this ad compared to others, then these people will move up. But extensions are extremely important in 2016. Let's go and take a look at extensions. We've got our sample campaign. Let's go back to our sample campaigns. Let's look at this campaign here. On campaign level, I can have extensions. On ad group level, I can have... Let me press on that and go to extensions there if I want. Here I can add extensions. I can say, you know what? New structured snippet extensions. Let's add that. Here I can select what I am offering. The value can be whatever you're selecting here. You can surely read more. Well, in 2016, you just have to have mobile-friendly website. Now, let's cancel that. Because as I, that's what I've placed in here for structure snippet extensions. But let's select a site link extensions. Let's press on that. And here you can add certain pages which are important for your website. And you want those site link extensions to show up like this. You can simply add them. Add new site link extension. Straightforward process. For call out extensions, let's press on that. Call out extensions, you can add that as well. Location extensions, if you are verified local business owner with Google My Business Center, you can utilize that as well. Or if you're a local business, perhaps you're advertising your local phone call that you want people to click after they search straight to your phone, then you can utilize that as an extension. At the end of the day, to improve your quality score, you have to understand that your ad relevance is absolutely critical. So therefore, you need to experiment with different ad text, your ad copy. Use some keywords, yes, but also utilize some call to actions or some value. But what you need to consider is that, yes, you advertise, yes, you've got a great website that's mobile friendly, that's great. But you have to think as to, you know what, how can I improve the user experience for the keywords that I'm advertising so that my web pages is the last stop for that person searching for those keywords. Now, you do this, then you will 110% improve your quality score. Having said that, you need to adhere to the best practices of running Google AdWords campaigns as well, such as creating different ad groups, creating different ad text, selecting keywords that are very related to the landing pages that you're advertising, and then improve your landing pages. Make sure they are mobile friendly. In, you know, attend to on-page search engine optimization. That's natural, right? You should do that regardless of if you're advertising with Google AdWords or not. Then make sure the, the landing pages is great according to the offers that you're presenting in your ads. And then work on your user experience of your website and your call to actions. You do this, then you will 110% increase your call to score. At the end of the day, as I've said to you, listen to your own experiments and then watch the other video tutorials that I have about Google AdWords and then you will grow your online business much more effortlessly. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, Please do give me a like for this video and share it and I'll talk with you in the next video session.